The crackdown on the epidemic use of prescription painkillers in America. Consider this. The United States, just 4.5% of the world's population, consumes 99% of the world's hydrocodone, the opiate in Vicodin. Vicodin, the single most popular painkiller in this country. So what is the big new thing the government wants to do? ABC's David Curley tells us. It's an epidemic of addiction. Pharmacy robberies where brazen crooks are stealing Vicodin and other drugs, a symptom of this growing addiction to painkillers. The demand is staggering, with estimates ranging in the millions of Americans addicted to Vicodin-type drugs. Not just the rich, but housewives, like Jerry, who was followed by the A&E program intervention. I am a drug addict. Now it's close to 20 pills a day. But if abused, these pills for pain can also be deadly. Brandy Michaud, just 18 years old, took too much Vicodin and other drugs and died. It's too easy to pull something out of somebody's medicine cabinet. I'm outraged there's not being more done about it. In 2011, 131 million prescriptions were written for Vicodin, which goes by several brand names. It's a mix of the ingredient in Tylenol and hydrocodone. The Drug Enforcement Administration can't win the battle and is pleading to make it harder to get Vicodin. If it has more restrictive manners tied to it, it would help reduce the abuse potential. The drug agents want Vicodin to be moved up to the same category as cocaine, Percocet, and oxycodone. Harder to get a prescription, harder to get a refill. And that's what worries doctors and patients who use Vicodin appropriately to control pain. If it's classified as a more dangerous drug, that could drive up costs for makers and doctors, more paperwork. Patients would have to make more visits to the doctor for refills, spending more in co-pays. We do have a national crisis with prescription medications, and something needs to be done. Balancing use that helps millions of Americans in pain against the abuse that leads to this. A recommendation comes tomorrow. David Curley, ABC News, Washington.